<clears throat> now let's come to the electronic configuration of atoms electronic configuration is nothing but the distribution of the electrons in different objects right so electronic configuration electronic configuration is is the distribution of is the distribution of is the distribution of electrons in different orbitals right and whatever we had been studying till now we were actually making the foundation for this only so what are those three things there are three things which will govern this right so so three things govern the electronic configuration and and what are those three things number one is number one is is the off bow principle is the off bow principle okay number two is the the Pauli's exclusion principle Pauli's exclusion principle what is off bow of bowels it says that you have to fill up from lower to higher energy right and energy depends on n plus l right so so filling from lower to higher lower to higher energy okay n plus l rule right and and Pauli's exclusion tells you that each orbital maximum two electrons and the third one was the Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity right multiplicity that says pairing occurs only after <coughs> all degenerate orbitals have have one electron each okay one electron each this is these are the three which is together govern which will together govern the electronic configuration now there are two ways of representing the electronic configuration so there are two ways ways of of representing so there are two ways of representing the electronic configuration right the first one is the SPD notation right SPD notation this is this is also pretty handy and is normally used right here we, we write it something like this N S A okay say say N plus one P B okay where, where this is the the principal quantum number quantum number right 
and, and, and this is your this is your subshell subshell and, and this represents the the number of electrons so, so this represents the number of electrons right fine here we do not distinguish between where between the orbitals you are you're not showing the orbitals here right so when I say say let's say I say 3 p 4 I mean to say that p orbital has four electrons now you now using the Hunt's rule you have to come on your own that one uh, three uh, the, the, the 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 3px has one uh, 3px has two right 3py has one and 3pz has one right because three must have gone to the separate px py pz and and then the fourth must have been paired so 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 this represents this okay this represents the number of electrons and 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 this represents the the number of shells subshells uh, the, the not the number of subshells the subshell right so this 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 is not as as kind of detailed as as to show you what is happening at the orbital level so so we have another notation which is a bit cumbersome but is more detailed and that is that is called the orbital diagram that is called the orbital diagram right now what happens is is uh, we, we have already seen right so so if it is let us say oxygen okay oxygen then then the then then how is the uh, how, how is it filled so it is let, let's first draw the orbital diagram for that so there is there is an s orbital this is one s this is two s right this is 2p right so it has three orbitals we also show the orbitals here right and and we start filling it up up and down right up and down so, so what does this represent? This is 1s. How do I write it in SPD notation? We'll write it as 1s2. Correct? Correct? 1s2. How about this? This is 2s orbital. Right? Off bow. Do we remember? Do we remember the off bow? No? No, that 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, right? So, so that has to be kept handy. So that has to be with you, right? So, 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 so let me let me do that. 1s, then then it goes to 2s. So, so it is 2s2, right? Now I come to this. So four are already gone. Then, then this is this is actually 2p here it is 2p x 2p y 2p z so first goes like that second goes like that third goes like that and it is the fourth which comes back to 2p x which gets paired but in the orbital in the in, in the in the spd notation you'll write it as 2p4 you see so you do not get this distribution that is kind of less detailed, but but concise. You do not have to draw boxes. You do not have to draw arrows, right? Okay. So, 
so so let us start let's start filling up the the electrons and and keep on moving from at least hydrogen to to neon right on the basis of the orbital diagram and for that i'll first first do this okay so i'll i'll do this i'll i'll make one full this thing right and and So I'll make this as one S. I'll make this as one S and 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 this. I'll leave some space. Some space. I'll erase it out later. This is this box will be two S, right? And and I'll again leave some space and make three boxes. One two and three right and erase out the rest fine so we'll erase out out what is not required fine so so, so we do not require this we do not require this we do not require this they are they are they are separate boxes right and and we do not require this whole thing Fair enough. Fair enough. Or, or, or if they are too close, let me let me kind of shift them. Let it come here, right? And let this also shift a bit. Make some space, right? So, so, so let this shift. Fine, is that okay? Fine. <clears throat> now, what we do is, I'll, I'll copy it and, and just paste it. Keep on pasting it. So I copy it and I paste it and let it come here. That's fine. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen. How many? Oxygen. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. Fluorine. Yeah. Neon, at least at least at least go till there. Right? We have our our off bow diagram here. That is nothing but that is nothing but one S fine. Two S two P right. 3s, 3p, 3d, 4s, 
4p 4d 4f and it goes on like that so so and 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 this is the arrow that we had made right so so this is how the filling takes place so this is an arrow right and and this another and and this is the other one right and it goes like that okay fine so it, it goes like that so 4s then we have 4s 4b 4p 4p 4f right so, so this is 4f there is 5s 5p 5d 5f we are not not showing 5g because because even till under 22 we are not able to reach that so this this six similarly here we are not drawing h though that is possible right technically that is possible but 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 you'll not reach there we'll see that so this right this is this is 5s 5p 5d 5f 6s 6p 6d 6f 7s 7p 7d 7f right So it goes like that, fine? Off bow, armed with off bow and polys and hunts, we are good to go, right? So, so this is hydrogen. Hydrogen, we see that the first orbital gets filled. There's only one electron. This is what happens, right? Helium. The second one goes to the first orbital so so the pairing happens right pairing happens lithium three electrons right so so atomic number we can we can say z is is one two three z represents the number of protons but but since atom is neutral that also means the number of electrons right so so lithium so lithium goes like that right beryllium this is this is all over 1s this is 2s this is 2p right so the next will go to go go, go to here only there will be a pairing right fifth a boron right there's an up sixth is carbon that there'll be two is the hunt's rule let us let's try to see that 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 one s will be filled first is is of bow Okay, that there'll be only two there is poly. That there'll be that now now you'll see here here the hunch rule kicks in, right? That there'll be no no pairing hunch rule. You see 
we are using the three without consciously even knowing which we are using where. But but it is it is these three that will that will take us through. So seventh nitrogen the same thing here pairing pairing up <coughs> up up right eight is oxygen okay up 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 the the pairing occurs for the first time here <coughs> right <coughs> fluorine right there's a pairing here there's a pairing here right we come to the second noble gas neon that is right okay correct let us write the spd notation for them how do we go about it this is 1s 1s1 correct first shell s sub shell one electron 1s1 this is 1s2 right this is 1s2 with 2s1 right here it is 1s2 2s2 here here it is 1s2 2s2 2p1 2p1 right here is 1s2 2s2 2p2 okay next 1s2 2s2 2p3 right it appears as an exponent but don't get afraid it is not an exponent right so it is 1s2 2s2 2p4 1s2 2s2 2p5 1s2 I'm sorry I'm sorry it is 2p 2p5 I, I, I went 6 right so so it is 2p5 1s2 2s2 2p6 now as, as you understand we are unnecessarily repeating certain things and we'll keep on repeating so for example I go to sodium okay number 11 that is sodium okay how, how, how does that look like this is filled fine this fully filled so the next has to go to next has to go to see this is done right this is is done this is done okay this is done 2s is done okay 1s 2s 2p now it should go to 3s right it should go to 3s then it should come to 3p and then it should come to 4s correct fine so so hereafter hereafter it will go to 3s now it starts becoming cumbersome you see why you have to carry all this the initial ones right and here too you have to keep on writing 1s2 2s2 2p6 okay so what we do normally here is write the core for the noble gas so you can write it as neon and enclose it within a bracket okay 
and and then what happens? Let us let us hold on. So if it goes to three s, first of all, let me let me make space for three s. So three s is is kind of kind of okay. It's nothing but but this. So this is your three s, correct? This is your three s. Okay. Now what happens? Now what happens? So so the first the electron has to enter the three s, right? So so here it gets. It's all the same, right? The first electron enters here like that. So, so what is the notation like? It is is one s two two s two two p six three s one. This we are here, right? We are here three s one. Now instead of writing this, and and we know that for all further uh, after sodium there'll be there'll be magnesium. So so there also you'll have to kind of come up with this. So, so, so we normally write it as the core of the helium gas. So we write that all the configuration for the neon gas will hold, okay? And then you write 3s1. This makes it shorter, correct? This makes it shorter to, to write, okay? After making orbital ion. Yeah. After making orbital ion. Because because you do not know where to go. After three years, you you might have a trouble. So this will tell you after three years you go go and fill three p. And after three p you go and fill four s. And after that you go to three d. Though three d was available, we had to jump from three p to four s. Just because the energy of 4s is less than 3d, m plus l root, right? Here, p p p stands for l is equal to what? L is equal to one. Okay, and and, and 3p is what? 3p is what? So 3p has n plus l as four. And 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 4s, 3p. Uh, no, I'm I'm talking about 3d. 3d has n plus l as as 5, while 4s has n plus l as 4s as 4. So this gets fit first. Correct? This gets fit first. Do we get that? Okay, get that. So, so only, only as as long as this diagram is in front of you, then only you know you have to go from where to where. Otherwise, you might get lost, right? So that's why you have to keep this beside you, this one. Okay, you get that. So I, I I'd like you to go ahead. From I have done it for sodium. Do it for magnesium, right? Do it for magnesium. Keep this beside you. Keep this beside you. It's easier for me to make it because you know. It's easier for me because of. So I paste this. This is my 1s, right? 
I paste another. This is my 2s, right? And I'm making two pixels here. I have already made right. Then I have to go to 3s. So this is my 3s. Is it not? I, I give a slight space. After 3s, I have to go to 3p. So the so the same same group of three again, right? Right? So so I might kind of copy it and, and just paste it there. So I copy it and I and I paste it. So, so just paste it here. This is my 3p and after that I'll require a a 4s right so so a, a 4s so I copy this back copy and I paste it so this is my 4s is that okay and after 4s I'll have to come to 3d Okay, 3D has five orbitals, right? So, so I have to show five orbitals. That will be required quite later, right? So till now, we'll be okay with we'll be okay with with these. Okay. So so this, and here I have my orbital says as 1s, 2s, 2px, 2py, 2pz, right? And and what else? 3s and and 3 3px, 3py, 3pz right and then 4s after after that we'll have 4s so i'll have 4s here somewhere here right so this is your 4s m So I would have just copied it and kept on pasting it one below the other, right? Paste another, paste another. Where are we now? Sodium we have already done. Magnesium, aluminum, phosphorus. What? Silicon. Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Then? Then? Sulfur. Then? Chlorine. Then? Argon. Yes. Okay. So. Right, it looks like an apartment. These as windows. It's no wonder of how means building up. Right? No. No, I don't think that is the motivation. But but it looks like that to me. It looks like that. Yeah, and 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 it's good that once we should should go through the rigor. Right? Not all the 180, but but at least we should know how to fill it up. Right? And how to use this. So. So what happens is, is they are the same. So I'll not keep on filling it till here again and again, right? 
I'll assume them to be fit. Fine. So so things like like this, okay, like this. So hold on. It is like I don't know why why I'm not able to draw. Straight line. Let me first draw those straight lines, then I'll, I'll I'll put the arrows, right? So an arrow like that, arrow like that, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, and and sodium we have already done. There was an electron in three S. Now this is the this is magnesium. Okay, this is magnesium. The atomic number is hold on. So atomic number is twelve. We are talking about about the element magnesium. So the second one goes there, right? Do we see that? Twelve. Two to four to six to eight to ten to twelve, right? Thirteen. So 13 is aluminum. They remain the same. Fine. They they remain the same. So I don't know if I can can copy that and sort of, sort of these electrons and can I paste it? Uh, yes. Right. Correct? So they go there. Fine. It's a repetition, so I'm, I'm not kind of doing it some absolutely non value added kind of thing. Okay, but, but it looks good. Right. So, so, so you have till magnesium. Now, now for aluminum, you see, we are done with this. So, so now we come here. Now the three P starts coming up, right? And th and the first one goes to the three P X, right here. Correct. And and fourteen is fourteen is. After aluminum, you have silicon. Silicon. So, so it goes like that, and it goes like that. Next goes to the, the to the three py, and then we have the the fifteenth. We have phosphorus. So, so up and up and up, right? And and the sixteenth is is sulfur so so the pairing occurs right one two three and 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 the sixteenth one comes here and seventeenth is chlorine now again paste the electrons right Right, and and where does the next go? The seventeenth one. So so it feels like that. So I'm 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 doing it in that order. Then it started pairing, and, and this will get paired. And then what happens? Eighteen is is argon. The next the next noble gas. So one. Two, right, three, start pairing, pairing, pairing. And then you have potassium. potassium 19. What happens? These are all filled. These are all filled. 
there and this has the first electron okay fine I'll add, I'd like to go ahead okay because now there will be exceptions that will kick in okay due to another rule that chips in and that rule says that the the half filled or the fully filled orbitals are more stable than the than the partially filled ones okay so so that comes later but but you should understand at least 19 right I think should also go till till calcium right calcium so that you get to know let's copy let's paste okay the same thing till here right and we have we have the 20th one that is calcium and, and and that comes here right now one thing that that you must have wondered till now was was that there was a rule that we were taught in class 9th and that said that any of the shells will not have more than eight electrons okay that is not due to some magic it was only due to this off bow so you see here the third shell this, this is this is the second right this is the second shell this is the second shell this is the third shell now this third shell did have the capacity for 3d but just when the 3p got filled we jumped to 4s so we this is 4s right so 3d is still remaining it is still there right do we see that it is still there and is waiting to be filled okay now let me relate this to the to the to the periodic table okay but that we'll do in the next video because the video length is going more than what maybe you can watch in one length say about 40 minutes so so we'll do that in the next video we'll leave this as it is and then we'll introduce the concept of of the periodic table and why certain elements are called as P, D, and F block elements, right?